Hey guys, it's Joy here, and today I'm going to be talking all about scholarships. The small ones, the big ones, where to look, how to make yourself look better on applications, and more. So I know a lot of you have been requesting a scholarship video, so I hope this answers a ton of your questions. And if it doesn't, you can get a copy of my new book, You Got Into Wear, which is available on my website for pre-orders and will be available in August for purchase from Amazon. So definitely get yourself a copy of this if you want to learn more information about my college process and everything I think that you guys need to know when applying to college. So I'm going to go over some bullet points that I have written down on my handy dandy notebook and I want to get right into it so we don't waste any time. So the first thing I want to talk about is going into scholarships knowing what your unique factor is. When scholarship um, readers look at applications, they're looking for unique applicants. So obviously every school has student council, every school has a National Honor Society, and being in those things is not bad, but you want to have something that makes you stick out from the crowd. So for example, one of my unique factors is my YouTube channel. Um, some people do a lot of community service hours, other people start a club or organization. You just have to choose something that you think will make you stand out. So a lot of people will brainstorm, think of the activities they've been in, any awards they've won, if they've done a ton of traveling, if they know languages, just brainstorm and I'm sure you'll think of something that makes you unique and you'll want to stress that in your scholarship applications. So going along with that, um, you want to build your activities resume. So some people, they build a resume as they get hired in their high school education. So they have it when they go in for college applications and scholarship applications. And sometimes those applications might even ask you to submit a resume. So build your resume, um, try to focus on that unique factor. If you want to major in the science fields, maybe join a ton of science related clubs at your school. Um, try not to be all over the place because it makes it hard for people who are reading your application to see what type of person you are. For example, if there's a scholarship for a student who wants to be a journalist, they want to see someone with an activities resume that has them participating in the school newspaper and going beyond um, what the average student might do. They might be confused if you have things like um, science fair awards if you're applying for a journalism scholarship and vice versa. So make sure you look like you're focused and that you are the right pick for that scholarship. Another factor in scholarships is your grades. So some scholarships, very few though, um, don't look at your grades, but most will ask you to submit a transcript from your school and they're going to be looking at your GPA. Some even look at your test scores, so make sure you are studying ahead of time for your SAT and ACT because it's not only for college admissions, um, they use it for scholarships as well. So make sure you are staying on top of your grades. I know that's hard for some people, but just try to do your best because that's all you can ask of yourself. So now I'm going to talk about how you're going to search for your scholarships. There's those two main categories. Um, outside scholarships and scholarships that colleges award to incoming freshmen. So the type of scholarships that I got were ones that colleges awarded to incoming freshmen. So when I applied to college, they notified me that I was admitted to the school and I also received scholarships. But I did apply to um, some outside scholarships. I think I applied for anywhere from 30 to 40 um, over my senior year and I did not get one. So the chances um, all depend on the type of student you are, um, what you're applying to. Um, for example, some students see it harder to get the scholarships that come from the schools. For example, the NYU scholarship that I was awarded only got awarded to 80 people out of the 63,000 applicants. So it was way harder for a student to get that scholarship. And other scholarships like small local ones, your chances are way greater. So um, just apply to a mix and I will go into both sections right now. So I'm going to start with the ones that schools award because I'm most familiar with those since I received them. Um, so schools will have on their website 
an area where you can see the scholarships that they give out. So you want to Google um, merit scholarships for blank school. So what I did was I did this for every school I was applying to. I Googled what their merit scholarships were because I knew that I might not get a lot of financial aid. I wasn't sure, so I knew I needed some um, academic-based scholarships. So you will pull up a list and sometimes they will list um, if you have this GPA and this test score, you will get this amount of money. And a lot of public universities list that, a lot of small universities list that, and it makes it easier for you to know um, what to shoot for on your standardized testing. So it might say if you have a 27 ACT, you get $10,000 a year. Um, the other schools, when you get to private institutions, they don't list what they're looking for specifically. They might say how many they award each year. They might say that certain scholarships go to minority students, certain scholarships go to first generation college students. You'll just see a whole list of scholarships they have. And many schools um, have other scholarships that they award to special students that they might not even list on their website. For example, one of the scholarships I got from USC is not listed on their website. So it is possible you just have to do your research and make sure you know what they're looking for. Because if you know what they're looking for, you know how to frame your application so you can be that student. So when you want to search for smaller outside scholarships, say you are a freshman, sophomore, junior, you're not really applying to college yet, but you want to start the scholarship process, or you're a senior and your school did not, not award you any scholarships, or you're a college student and you want scholarships, um, here's how you can search and find them and apply with your best chances. So you're going to first have to think about small scholarships versus large scholarships. Large scholarships are those like QuestBridge, which, which awards a full ride to students from underrepresented backgrounds, low income, things like that. So those scholarships are extremely competitive. Thousands and thousands of students apply to them each year, which means your chances are smaller. But if you do win one, then you have a lot of money. So a few of those are the QuestBridge, like I said, the Coca-Cola scholarship, the Bill Gates, um, scholarship which I think just had its last year um, you might want to check up on that but those are just a few so then you have the small scholarships these are scholarships that might just be a couple hundred dollars maybe a couple thousand dollars but they stay on the lower end but these scholarships have less people applying to them and they might have a more specific um, applicant pool they're looking for so if you get awarded these scholarships then you can build up the money so that it equals um, one of the larger scholarships. So don't ignore the small scholarships because those are the ones you have a better chance of winning. So scholarships, you wanna look for ones that are local. So look for ones in your state, the ones for people in your city, ones for people in your neighborhood, ones for people that go to your school or school district, things like that, because those have less people applying so your chances are better. Um, you might want to look for scholarships for people that are going into a certain field. So they might say this scholarship is only for people applying to engineering related fields in college. So that will also um, help you focus on a smaller applicant pool. They have ones that are ethnicity related. So they might have a scholarship for Latinos that are going into the medical field. So ones that um, deal with your ethnicity, heritage, things like that. There are also religious scholarships, so definitely look into your religious institution, church, synagogue, mosque, anything like that to see if they are offering scholarships to students that are going to college. Um, there are also hobby related scholarships, so if you um, do skydiving, if you like to knit, there are scholarships for that, you just have to search. So the way you would find those is if there's like an organization, maybe if you like crafting, you might go on Michael's website or Hobby Lobby's website and see if they have scholarships. Um, there are also scholarships that are just really random. They have a tall person scholarship. Um, I'm 4'11", so I can't get that, but I wish there was a short person scholarship. If there is, link it down below because I want that. And then just look at any organizations you're a part of. So if you're a part of like boys and girls clubs, Girl Scouts, um, you volunteer at the hospital, see if they have scholarships for students. Um, you won't know unless you ask or you research it. 
So a couple of resources I like to use to search are the Scali app, which is an iPhone app, and it was on the show Shark Tank. And basically it's a great way to search for scholarship with, without getting a lot of spam, a lot of ads, and a lot of things that don't apply to you. So there's the Scali app, and then there's a website called scholarships.com, and that's just an online version of scholarship searching. And it might have a couple of different things in Scali, or you just choose which one you like better. So the next thing I want to talk about is how you can organize your scholarships and stay on top of them because especially during school you'll have assignments, you might have college applications to worry about. So a way to just get these organized and make sure you don't forget to apply. So what I did was I went to my computer and I made a bookmark folder for each month of the year. So I made January through December and then when I found a scholarship I wanted to apply to, I just bookmarked the due date of that scholarship to the month of the folder. So every month if I wanted to apply to some scholarships, I would open that month and be like, oh I have five scholarships I saved, let me apply to a couple of these. And it worked out like that. Um, if you aren't as technical or you like to see things on pen and paper, you can print out your scholarships and have tab dividers and a binder of each month of the year. Um, and you can just make a plain list of scholarships and due dates in your notebook if you'd like. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is how to just make it easier. Um, one, you can recycle your essays. So every scholarship, you do not need to write an entirely new essay if one you apply to a similar so definitely look into the essays that you have written before writing a whole new one. Um, definitely have teacher recommendations ready. You don't want to do a scholarship application and realize you need two recommendations in a couple days because it's going to be hard to find teachers who will do that so just have recommendations ready. You have copies that are ready to send and things like that. And the last thing is school transcripts. <laughs> school transcripts. Um, you definitely want to have copies of those on you that are recent and up to date. You want to have a copy that's on your computer that you scanned for online applications and you want to have copies of your official transcript um, if you have any scholarship applications that you have to mail in. And that's really important because sometimes schools take a while to give you transcripts or they only give you one so make sure you have copies um, and keep the hard copy for yourself. So that is everything I wanted to talk to you guys about scholarships. If you have any questions, leave them below. Check out my website, joywade.com, because I have a ton of resources for you guys that are free. I have college organization printables. You can sign up for my email list and get more tips. And definitely um, my book, that has everything you need to know about college apps. Like, I mean everything. Like, all my videos, like... Everything I tell you guys, it's in that book. So definitely check that out for me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.